Hey guys, Scott and Nate from playercourt.com and today we're going to show you how to hit a short angle forehand ground stroke. All right guys, so today we're talking about how to hit a short angle forehand ground stroke and this video is for players with a player court rating of 60 to 80. If you're not in our community or familiar with our rating system, that is the equivalent of about a USTA 3.5 to a 4.5 level. So Nate, I don't know about you, but for me as a coach, one of the huge mistakes I see rec players making is they're only using two points of the court. They're focused on deep cross-court ground strokes, you know, deep forehands, deep backhands. They don't understand that there's actually six points to the court, not just two, to beat their opponents with. Yeah, we kind of get enamored with the two points at the baseline, uh, and it looks a, like, a, a lot like the old video game Pong. Um, but we have to remember, almost every athlete in every sport, they're best movement is going to be lateral, I mean, with the accept of sprinting forward, but we move really efficient that way. Um, and, and what we really suffer with our movement is actually moving diagonal. And For this, sure. I think today, that's what we're really going to tackle is, is taking a look at like, how do we get our opponent moving a little bit more diagonal and less parallel with the baseline? Right. Yeah. Like Nate said, everybody's really comfortable moving side to side in that lateral motion. We're pretty comfortable moving out to a forehand. I think a lot of players you'll find are uncomfortable moving forward at this diagonal angle to field these short angle balls. So it's definitely something we want to teach you how to do. And we're going to dive in right now and sort of show you a uh, very specific drill and swing pattern you can work on to understand and, and learn how to hit the short angle forehand ground stroke. So in some of our other videos, we've talked specifically about how to drive the ball deep because of course that's something we want you to understand. And we talked about how you want to make contact out in front of that front hip and then think like you're hitting through two more balls going up a staircase. That extension out and that higher follow through is what's going to give you depth. So now that we're talking about hitting the ball short and out wide, we're going to change this up a little bit. So what you'll notice, the big change now that we're trying to hit the ball on a short angle out wide, is of course we're not driving straight anymore, and we're actually going to make contact further out in front of our body. So you can see this first ball has moved quite a bit forward in my stance. It's way out in front of my left hip now, and as I make contact, instead of thinking about going out and up that staircase, I'm going to think way more about breaking my wrist and coming across my body to generate this angle that we're looking for out wide. And you'll notice on my follow through here, I'm really almost kind of looking at my watch when I'm done or putting my racket in my pocket. It's one of the rare times that we're going to coach you not to follow through up around your shoulder. So this is what we're looking for in terms of racket path. Again, the big difference, don't extend out and up. We're going to swipe and roll more across and break that wrist, looking at our watch, dipping our racket in our pocket. So Nate and I are going to hit a couple of balls. Now what I want you to pay really close attention to is the path of my racket. I'm going to hit some deep. I'm going to hit some short and out wide. Notice the huge difference in when I hit the ball deep, a really long extension and a higher follow through. And when I pull the ball short and out wide, an abbreviated stroke that breaks my wrist and ends more around my pocket. Let's take a look at this now. So what you guys are going to see here is I rally with Nate. When I want to hit the ball deep in the court, you're going to see a long extension, a high follow through, and that's what's going to push the ball deep in the court. When I want to hit short and out wide, what you're going to see is kind of the exact opposite. I'm going to catch it further out in front. I'm going to break my wrist and I'm going to follow through more towards my elbow or down in my pocket. All right, guys. So I think you can see the importance of that low, rollover forehand and that term rollover forehand that was really big in the 90s when Michael Chang broke on the scene he was dominating with this forehand all right so let's just kind of go back for a minute and, and talk about why this shot is so important and why it's effective we know that most players move really well lateral behind the baseline and so what ends up happening is that when you've played a cross court point and that player is defending deep a lot of times they're taking a step with their outside foot and what ends up happening is when the ball goes short, they're not prepared to change direction diagonally. And we use this term called dead in the water. When we see it, we know that that player is really gonna go from just absolute set balance to panic trying to retrieve this ball, giving you perfect court position and the opportunity to finish the it's point. almost kind of similar to when you hit behind somebody, right? It's like they've made a step wrong in the footing. wrong direction. Yeah, you're kind of wrong footing them just by generating this short angle at a lot of skill levels. So. Breaking those ankles. For sure. So to sort of recap here, things to remember, we know I did the ball deep in the court. We're going to extend out 
and follow through higher up around our shoulder. The big difference on that short angle forehand, break that wrist, make contact further out in front and follow through more in your pocket. I hope this stuff helps guys. Remember, Nate and I just wanna see you improve your game here at Player Court. We just wish we knew a little bit more about you so we could send you some custom video coaching. Do us a favor, click the button or the link below, answer some questions for us about your specific skill level. Then we can send you some custom video coaching based on the things that are actually going on in your game. Just click the button or the link below and we'll do the rest.